Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. Excuse me, what? I have questions. What made you think people were going to go up to a register and ask two tickets for American Society of Magical Negroes, please? Now, mind you, this movie made one million dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry, $1.4 million. This movie came out damn near a week ago. You had a whole weekend, plus 30% on Rotten Tomatoes, plus 2.7 out of 10 IMDb. Jesus. Only 21% like this movie. Mind you, I'm pretty sure Justice Smith, yes, the Pokemon guy, got more than $1 million to even be in the movie, let alone the budget for this movie. So you make $1.4 million. Who are you making this movie for? I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. Excuse me, sorry. I don't want to take you to a job interview. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Sure. White people, when they feel uncomfortable. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. If you was going to make a movie called The American Society of Magical Negroes, your primary focus is some type of racial commentary. I, I, don't, I don't know if this was the best Route or revenue to go. I don't. I don't think this is the best. <laughs> we can have something special. If you gonna, if you gonna, if you gonna go with a name like that, nigga, you need to go bonkers. Okay, you need to go balls to the wall crazy. You need to be that Key and Peele skit. Trust the field. There can be only one magical Negro. You need to go, sorry to bother you, ass crazy. Okay, that was one of the craziest endings I've ever seen in my freaking life. I still don't know if the movie was good or bad or not, but I don't regret the experience. Fight white discomfort every day. Wait, 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 does that say white tears? How are we still doing, how, y'all getting bold, man. <laughs> y'all getting bold with, Y'all getting bold with these movies, bro. A little bit. Okay, I, I'm just gonna be real. I don't think we need these type of movies anymore. I think we, I think we done enough. Okay, I think we done enough slave movies. I think we done uh, uh, political, social commentary on black and white relations. Enough. Okay, I think I think we done enough. All right, let's put that into the bank and let's have black people do other things. All right. I don't want, I said this before, and I'm going to say it one more time, one more time. I do not need any more movies based on black people where black people can only be in a movie based on our race and the history of our race and social commentary on our race. White tears. <laughs> I was saying, man, if you gonna do this, bro, you gotta go crazy with it, okay? There was another movie that did something similar. What was it called? Is it They Clone Tyrone? Yeah, They Clone Tyrone. If you gonna do some shit, at least be crazy with it, okay? Like this. And I didn't even think They Clone Tyrone was crazy enough. I thought that should have been a little bit more crazy or borderline parody. But regardless, if you gonna do that, then do it, okay? I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. I don't know about y'all, but I don't, I don't, I don't be feeling that way when I walk through a room full of white people, but that's just me. <laughs> that's why we fight white discomfort every day. Because the happier they are, the safer we are. We could have had a crazy ass Harry Black Harry Potter on some crazy ish. This guy, this guy, crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, if they just did a, 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 a chaotic black Harry Potter, I would have went to see that. I would have been like, give me 10 tickets to American Society of Magical Negroes. If you're going to just have Negroes go crazy, <laughs> a black Voldemort going crazy. <laughs> Have a good day, nigga. <laughs> I would have saw that movie day one if y'all would have gave me that shit. Maybe these little updating, maybe like magical black people, or I guess that doesn't have the same ring. Really relaxing. It's like being a secret agent with none of the danger. Hey, I'm Lizzie. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. She's great. Yeah, she's cool. You kidding? Come on, man. She's smart. Uh, what? What? Huh? What? How 
how you go how you gonna be uncomfortable around white people then you wanna then you wanna fuck the white the white girl? What? Huh? I thought this was, what? <laughs> she's great. Yeah, she's cool. You kidding? Come on, man. She's smart and funny. This could have been special. We could have black Harry Potter. We could have had a black nigga, Lodomar, going crazy. And now you're telling me you're also throwing me a romance subplot. Okay. Yeah. That, that makes so much sense. So much, that that's exactly what we wanted when we went to go see the American Society of Magical Negroes. Yep. This, this is exactly what we wanted. I can't even tell if he's all the way black. I'm not saying that to be offensive. I'm just saying. And two, a white woman. Yet we're having a social commentary about white making white people come to what the fuck? Come on, man. She's smart and funny. Uh, and I know. Why would a why would a movie called the American Society of Magical Negroes with this crazy title give me a trailer or the subplot of some dumbass romance? You cannot have a relationship with Lizzie now. Because if you don't put Jason first, everyone's magic will fail. <laughs> <laughs> that's your plot. That's your plot. That's your plot. That's your plot. The American Society of Magical Negroes. And this is your Justin Smith. I need you to get another agent, dog. I need you to get this and that one freaking stupid Euphoria clone bullshit that you was in. I I need you to. I need before it gets real. I need you to get another agent, dog. I need you to get another agent. First, everyone's magic will fail. So you're not even gonna give us a crazy movie, and then you're gonna set up your movie to fail even to begin with. One, the movie looks boring, okay? It's not about magical Negroes like it, it was foretold. It's a dumb social commentary with a subplot romance of, of, a, of a guy trying to get a girl, and then there's a conflicting interest of getting the girl. That's that's the movie. And then you will put this in your trailer. Ari's off putting to buy a ticket and then you're gonna make a boring ass trailer and a boring ass movie at that. What, 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 what? Always felt like it's my job to make white people feel comfortable and- Big, who said, wh why? How? Is this the 1960s, 70s or even 80s? Okay, last time I checked the past 20 years, I don't think black people have care at all about making white people comfortable. I don't, I don't think, we, especially in the last 10 years, I don't think black people have cared about making white people comfortable. But maybe it shouldn't be. I got a great plan to ask her out, but I'm gonna need your help. Do you think you can like work your magic? Hey, is he talking about me? Hey. Oh my, God. wait, are you? Bro, it doesn't sound like you, what's even worse, it doesn't even sound like you trying to make white people comfortable. It sounds like you like to make people comfortable in general because you're a pussy. What are we talking about? That don't got nothing to do with white people. You're just a bitch. Someone defied the society. Who was it? You didn't you see why this got a 30% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like I told you, if you interfere with her or your client, you could have your memory erased. You won't even remember she existed. Is this a romance or is this, what, what, what? what? What's that little part where Hagrid appears and says you're a Negro here? <laughs> yeah, I want to watch that movie. <laughs> Why does Hollywood like to lose? I just don't understand Hollywood. Y'all are on this this period of I need to make more movies or whatever because I don't know is it capitalism? Is it because of just more exposure because of the dying movie theater? I don't know what it is. Okay, y'all keep making more movies and be putting money into more movies. But you're putting out shit movies and not even giving people a reason to go out and see said movie, okay? Oppenheimer and Dune 2, I don't care what anybody says. I am fully of the belief. Quality will speak for itself. It, I, I truly believe it is very rare for a movie that is great to fail. I've seen it a couple times. I don't think that is, I don't think that's the norm. If it truly is great, people are going to want to see it. If you just put out bullshit, I guarantee you people not gonna wanna see it. Ain't nobody wanna see shit if it's trash. So why even put the movie out if you know it's gonna be garbage? If you know you don't got any fresh ideas. If you know you don't got no original ideas. If you know you're just putting out bullshit. I don't get it. The only magic in this movie is the box office numbers. That's the magic in this movie. I I, I can't even find the budget of this movie, okay? This is... This is a pretty, this is, you know, this, this was a pretty, you know, uh, I wouldn't say stout cast, but a pretty known cast with a pretty big company backing it with a theater release, yet no one's there. 
You should have went the sorry to bother you route, not the dear white people route. You went the dear white people route. Dear white people is trash, okay? <laughs> no, you should have went the Key and Peele route. You should have just went crazy, okay? You, you should have just made the craziest movie imaginable with black people doing magic shit. And you should have put all the fucking money into the magic and just going, and just going crazy, okay? Should have been a drive-by with magic, okay? That's what should have happened. <laughs> How you gonna be using an invisible cloak when I can see you tagging the damn wall? Dime bag of pixie dust? Psst, contraband? American society of magical Negro. Stupid ass shit. Comfort every- Look at this white tears! How are we making movies like that? What the- <laughs>